Hi there, this is Robert Simon again uh, from Warboard and in this uh, short video I would like to talk about the options that can make your content live. It is unnecessary to talk about that uh, how boring can a digital signage content be when it is just an endless loop of images and videos and the screens are just playing the same content 24 hours a day for weeks, etc. So all the customers, all the end users wants to uh, get some option that with, the, with a little work they can make the content live and uh, deliver live information or at least live animation, something new every day, every minute of the hour uh, to the content. So in this session I would like to talk about the first half dozen of, of the opportunities with Warboard. What can you do? How can you do? How can, make, uh, how can you make your uh, contents live? And in the second session, we will use more complex things like RSS widgets and, and live data source uh, information. Let's uh, start it. So you can see that I have just one screen next to me and we are in the Brightlink salon and uh, this content is just playing uh, uh, um, an image gallery of, uh, of uh, watches and some history of Brightling. But let's go out of this one and let's start uh, with the basics. Again, let's just drag and drop a loop uh, to the screen. This loop, if I log into this loop, uh, you can see it includes a couple of images and couple of uh, videos in the in an endless uh, playlist so this is exactly what I don't want to talk about it and let's immediately jump to the next one um, the loop is the basic option for creating some content but the real content editor is the the environment where you can create something really new and of course if I drag and drop this content to the screen it will also just uh, play two images but in a different uh, uh, format so if I click on this content you can see I have the default page for eight seconds and after that there is another page for eight seconds and there is even no animation between these two pages so it will be jumping between these two images only and that's the first content. If I go to the next content you can see that the difference between the two is in this case uh, I just used an animation between the pages so at least the transition between the two pages will not be boring so there will be some opacity uh, animation between the two slides and you can uh, see it there uh, we still have just two images and they are uh, fading into each other so that's the the second option let's see the third one and sometimes when a content is animating between the, the two slides so we have a content loaded in when we load it out then there's going to be nothing on the screen so we need to have some kind of slide or master slide that is always behind your contents so when this image rolls out uh, on the bottom the master slide is uh, displayed and then uh, it will be uh, hidden by the next uh, image. So it goes out, the master slide is there. That's always, it's like in the PowerPoint, the slide master. Let's jump to the next option. And here we are with the overlay slide. So opposite to the master slide, the overlay slide is always in front of the, the content let's check it that what is inside so here you can see that we have a black master slide there are two pages that are they don't even have an animation but the trick here is when the uh, the page end comes we will pop up the yellow uh, rectangle then we load the logo we animate the logo hide the logo and hide the rectangle again so 
It is here, animation, hide, and then hide the back. How do we do that? We have a master slide, we have two slides in front of it and they are uh, just uh, repeating uh, or uh, following each other. And the overlay slide has one rectangle in the back and this image in the middle. And on the content level, you can set a, a page change event. So after the page starts, uh, after the page starts, after two seconds, we will hide away the, the image. After three seconds, we hide away the yellow shape. Before the end of the page, we just uh, display the image and we just display the shape. And exactly one second before the page ends, we start the animation, the rotation of this uh, uh, image. So this is how you can put together uh, an animation that is absolutely covering the, the transition between two pages so you can create a custom animation. Okay, we can do it step by step but let's say it is quite hard because you have to do five things. What if you substitute this one with a video? I just drag and drop it so we have the, uh, the, the content for X seconds and then on the overlay page we start to play a, a WebM, anime, a WebM video that is a semi-transparent content so it is hiding uh, the, the, the layer below and while it is fully covering the, the page we will change the content, the, uh, the black watch to something else to the blue one and so we use a video that is starting from an absolutely transparency goes to a full uh, fill of the content and also finishes in absolute transparency and that's how you can create a webm animation that is covering uh, the slide uh, the translation uh, the transitions of the slides Let's go to the next one. Um, that's going to be the same one, but here you can see that uh, we will uh, do it with a uh, corporate animation. So we see the blue watch, then a wallboard uh, animation comes in. Maybe it was set to 15 seconds. Yes. So you can see that there is a wallboard animation. So this is basically a video. It goes out and it will continue with the black watch in the background. And there is another option. You can create uh, and upload to wallboard an Adobe animation where it is much, slow, uh, much uh, thinner content or maybe it is more easy to execute for the media player. You can see that it does the very similar, uh, similar to the uh, WebM. So it is just the same red transition. But basically this is uh, Adobe uh, JSON file that is uploaded to our server and that does the animation between the slides. Okay, let's see what else we have in this logic. The next one is, uh, you can see that we still play two pages in the middle of the screen, but on the top and on the bottom, we are running some uh, ticker on the bottom and we have live information like the, the time and the date. So this is very easy because we have the two slides here on the bottom, we have the master page uh, as in the previous version and here in the overlay page we just have a widget for time, we just have a uh, widget for the ticker and one for the uh, date. So this was the seventh one. The next one is 
if we use an image gallery. So we are not transiting between pages, we use an image gallery, and the image gallery animation will be a right side animation. But if I go to the content and I click on this one, you can see that I can select about 20, 30 uh, different type of animation. And if I just select the random one and I save it, it immediately refreshes the content. You will see that all the animations will be different. So the first one is uh, fade. The second is this slider. The next one is some zoom in, zoom out and so on. Again, if something is not boring, then maybe it, it uh, catches uh, the attention of the visitors more. This was the eight. And I just want to show you the first uh, 10, 15 things. Okay. Similar to the uh, first video, of course, in the content, I can also create a loop or a sequence of images and videos that are just following each other without any master slide, any overlay, etc. This is what you see. There is even no animation between the two pages. If I just step forward, um, I can insert a loop into a content and here you will see that what we started this whole presentation with image then a video then an image is only in this picture in picture mode so this is a video here right now and this is the full content in the background if I go to this one, here you can see that I can, you know, use it, I can move it, I can resize it as I wish. Or for example, I can even mask it to a special format. Let's say I want to display everything that is coming from this loop in a format of a heart mask. So I am gonna going to use this mask and save this. And from this point, you see the, the first image in a shape of a, or in a mask of a heart and also the video that is coming next. So the video is played only in this form. So it looks better than just a you know, static video. Let's see the last one, I think, in this session. Um, that is weather and time. In a, again, this is a different format. Here we're gonna use the uh, top and the uh, top left and the bottom right corner. The bottom right corner is showing the, the, the weather in New York and the upper left corner is showing the time. We just, uh, you know, modified our clock widget that is showing a brightling clock face in the background, etc. In the next video, uh, we are going to talk about live data integration. Live data integration means, for example, you can receive live data from um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and uh, almost any kind of RSS feeds. Um, we can process the media RSS tags like the image, like the video, like the uh, header and the body. Uh, of, of it and you can place it anywhere on your screen and this is just a basic example example so here is the title here is the description that is the uh, the image that is coming from the uh, Twitter site of Microsoft I think um, 
And in the next video, we are going to uh, make it really complex uh, to show something also interesting. So that was it. It is very important to, to show uh, a non-boring uh, content for your customers. And if you would like to uh, make it a little bit live, then you have to have a tool that is able to, to make it alive. That's it. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.